Unveiling the Mystery, Low-Hanging Clouds Explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a picturesque phrase you might have come across, low-hanging clouds. This phrase not only enriches your vocabulary but also paints a vivid picture of the natural world. So, let's embark on this linguistic journey together and discover what lies beneath these atmospheric wonders. When we talk about low-hanging clouds, we are referring to clouds that appear very close to the ground, almost as if they could be reached by simply stretching out one's hand. This phrase is not just a literal description of a weather phenomenon, it's also rich in imagery and emotion, often used to evoke a sense of closeness, mystery, or even gloominess in literature and everyday conversation. Low-hanging clouds can be observed in various weather conditions, but they are most commonly associated with foggy or misty weather. They play a significant role in setting the mood in both visual and written storytelling. In literature, these clouds might symbolize confusion, uncertainty, or the obscuring of clarity. In photography or film, they create a serene, mysterious, or even eerie atmosphere that can deeply affect the viewer's emotions. Beyond their literal meaning, low-hanging clouds are often used metaphorically. They can represent obstacles that are within reach and possibly easy to overcome, or they might signify something that is close to materializing but not yet fully clear or attainable. This dual nature makes the phrase incredibly versatile and powerful in communication. To help solidify your understanding, let's look at a few examples. Literal. As we ascended the mountain, the low-hanging clouds enveloped us, reducing visibility to just a few feet. Metaphorical. He felt the low-hanging clouds of doubt begin to clear as he found the answer to the problem. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to different contexts, enhancing both the imagery and the expressive depth of the language. We hope this exploration of low-hanging clouds has lifted some of the mist surrounding this evocative phrase. Whether you encounter it in a book, use it to describe the weather, or apply it metaphorically to express feelings or challenges, you're now equipped to appreciate and employ this phrase to its fullest potential. Thank you for joining us on this linguistic adventure. Until next time, keep looking up, perhaps, at the low-hanging clouds.